Good morning. We'll give it just a few minutes for everyone to get notified. And jump on here. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining. Good morning, Judith. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Diana. Today we're going to explore the, um, hi, Lynn, the bloom where you're planted. Hi, Pat. Good morning. Or what's it called? Um, yeah, bloom where you're planted, DSP. Hi, Flo. Hi, Kelly. And the plentiful plants. It's a bundle. Um, but we're going to use the Give It a Whirl dies. I love this set too. I just, I, you know, oh, you hear the birds out the window? Yeah, it's a pretty day. It is. I keep the windows open as long as I can until I can't handle the heat anymore. <laughs> but I do like it warm. I have to admit that. Good morning, Mary. So, wow, this is wonderful. Okay, so um, we're using the Give It a Whirl dies uh, this week, and um, yesterday I did this card. Hi, Carrie. So yesterday I did this card, okay? And um, we talked about using this little circle mechanism uh, to go behind here to lift this off of here to make it able, you know, for your finger to turn it because I found that when I was putting it together, I knew I needed lift there, but I didn't know what to do. Hi, Linda, good morning. Um, so I found a wonderful um, person, and uh, Gloria Creamer, and she had a great idea, and of course, I'm passing it on to you guys. Hi, Linda. Um, <clears throat> so I've got a lot of things already cut out, and like we did yesterday, good morning, Jewel. Like we did yesterday, um, I'm going to do a lot of the stamping first, and then we'll concentrate on the front of the card. Because this is, hi Maureen, <clears throat> this is where um, you really need to kind of watch uh, what's going on and what you're doing and where you're placing things. Now, we also talked yesterday about the template, and I'll show you that again. Uh, yesterday, I did the embossed arrow right here. Today, I just cut one of the arrows out from the die set. Let me bring this die set in here, okay? <clears throat> I have it, like, all over the place. Here's double arrows. Let's see, where's my little... Oh, this, this arrow that I cut, it comes even with a little arrow, too, so you could put two little arrows, and they cut out. It's really cute. Now, there's so much to do with this set. This is the main wheel of everything. This is the main die. Look at these hearts. Everything is stitched. Isn't that fun? And I mean, these are just, you know, these are things that you could put in the little windows, which is very, very sweet. And then it comes with a nice sentiment die. And I love this because they're flagged. It's flagged. And um, so then we have our circle and our heart and whatever you want to call this kind of triangle looking thing. And hi, Donna. Thanks for sharing. This goes over the circle like what we did yesterday to make a nice little frame right there. That's so pretty. Um, now we have clouds and stars and hearts. Look, there are three individual hearts, which these you can use. I wanted to show this to you. These you can use anywhere. And they're all stitched. It, you know, you don't have to use it with this. So I didn't get the stamp set that went with this bundle because I didn't, um, I wasn't going to use something like that, but I wanted to use the Give It a Whirl and I wanted to use all kinds of stamp sets and everything with it. So, and then here's little circles and these little stars, they cut out and they're, they're stitched. The clouds are stitched. Hi, Patty. And I love that the clouds are not those little flat bottom clouds. I like my clouds to be like, um, I thought about getting the set, but decided on another set I really, really want. <laughs> That's good. I know, right? Yeah, well, you have to, you know, just take your time and, uh, you know, maybe you'll get it later on or, you know, you never know. Um, but I was saying about the clouds, I love that they're fluffy all the way around. So I really like that about it. And then, of course, in here we have the the main part is this right here. 
okay? And um, that is the really important part of this entire card. We're going to talk about that. Now, oh, and yesterday I showed, if uh, people didn't watch the YouTube maybe, I showed a template. And the reason why we make this template is to go ahead and see what fits where, okay? So, like, thank you. Does it fit in the template? Then you can use it. Maybe not, okay? So you wouldn't want to do that. You touched my heart, that fits. So I use that one, okay? So this is a great way to see just by having this and using it with any stamp set that you have to see what will really fit in the window or pick the window that you need to fit the stamp, um, the sentiment. Okay. So those were a couple of things that we did, uh, that I did yesterday. So let's go ahead and start. Let's um, open our ink. I'll use a little Cajun Craze. Evening Evergreen. And a Soft Succulent. Okay. All right. Let's move this aside. And um, let's go ahead and bring in our envelope. I want to get a lot of this little stamping done. And I love in this set, I love this little flower pot right here. We're going to do it in Cajun Craze. And when I use these, I think they called them pearls. <clears throat> Thank you, Patty. This um, type of plant, I am not good with plants whatsoever. This die is not part of a bundle, right? Uh, yes, it is part of a bundle. Uh, Flo, it is, um, let me find it. Let me find it. It is part of a bundle. Um, let me look. It's in the annual catalog. Good morning, Carol. Good morning, Sandra. Um, let me find it. Let me find it. Page 57. Yes, okay. So on page 57, okay, right here, it's, um, let's see, is it, is, it, is, it, is, it, is it part of a bundle? Or is it not a bundle? You're right, it's not a bundle. I didn't realize that. Why did I think that this was a bundle? There's no bundle um, in here. Okay, so it's shown with this stellar birthday but you don't have to purchase this as a bundle. Well, that was, that is, I was not even paying attention. Thank you. And Lynn got the Spaceman set, making card for your nephew. Yeah, using the picture's face. He loves Buzz Lightyear. Yes, see, that would be, that's fantastic. But I didn't realize that this was not in a bundle. So yeah, just get the dies, you know, and then you can match it up with anything. I've seen it matched up with the turtle, which is so cute. Hey, Steve. Um, which is so cute. So, Thank you for um, alerting me to that. So now I did the little uh, flower pot in Cajun Craze. And then I love this cascade of greenery. I heard somebody say that it was like pearls or something like that. But I moved my pot over to the right a little bit so that I would have enough room for that gorgeous greenery to go over that. Isn't that pretty? Let's do the back the same way. Just put my flower pot and then this greenery. And oh, I just love that. It really makes the, um, really makes it, right? Okay, so now the inside of the card, I'm just gonna use basic white, and it's four and three quarter by three and a half. I'll post all of its, oh, I saw it with the birthday chick. Yes, I saw it, I saw that. That is so cute, Sandra. I totally agree. I was using different um, sets all week. I was using the dies, but different sets. There's that, and now we're gonna stamp thank you. Whoop, not to a dear friend. We're gonna put, I'm gonna put thank you up here because it doesn't fit in the window that I wanna use. Or it doesn't fit in any of those windows because it's just too big. I saw someone match it with one of the Christmas ones yeah, I know. I know, Carol. Um, honest, it's a really great uh, addition, I think, uh, to what to have, you know, if you want to have fun. But it's also a little bit of a building set, you know, so, and it has like a little mechanism to it. 
Now I have um, Evening Evergreen here at eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So it opens like this. So yeah, so I guess, you know, you have to like uh, playing with things like that. So while I'm gluing this down, let me tell you, I've got, I sent out the um, sign up for the paper share. If you are on my email list, you should have gotten an email about it. The paper share, there's eight papers, not nine. We're having trouble getting one. So I decided to leave it out and then it's not $30, it's $25 for the paper share. So um, it's all the DSP in the uh, new mini catalog. I bet the penguin will work. Oh, I agree, Carol. I, there are so many things that could work with this, yes. So um, yeah, just a lot of fun. Okay, so we put that on the inside of the card. Isn't that pretty? And we have our envelope done. All right, now we can concentrate on things that are gonna go on on the outside of the card. The first thing I have is a piece of the DSP, and I use this wood piece. What's a good set for a beginner class? Um, wow. I think the peaches, I think the peaches would be great for a beginner class. I've done a lot with those. I've done a lot. In fact, I just finished making, um, my team some thank you cards. Here's one of them. So I think the peaches are fun and you get a nice result. Um, and I love the scalp contour dies. So, okay, so the outside of this card, oh, well, Lynn had a great idea right there, use a kit. Pick a kit for a beginner's class because really you get everything in it. The only thing they need is scissors, right? And um, I don't know if a clear block comes in the kits or not. But uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's a great idea too is use a kit. I think that's a fantastic idea. So this is of uh, uh, the Bloom Where You're Planted DSP. And I love this wood grain. Isn't that pretty? I thought it went really well with our brick. So this piece right here is um, five and three eighths by four and one eighth, okay? Because we need a larger piece right here, okay? And a very, very skinny border because of the size of this, okay? Because this size is, um, you know, like I use a piece that's four inches by uh, five and a half when I cut this out. Oh yeah, and paper pumpkins, fantastic too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure, a kit would be great, especially if they're first time paper pumpkin um, people um, and you place an order, you know, just their order for them, they'll get the clear block in it. So that's kind of cool. I ordered one of the Christmas kits last year and it, and it had a block. Oh, okay, Carol, wonderful. So um, yes, so this piece is like four by five and a half. So I have this about four inches across and then we're gonna cut this out in just a moment. But I thought that this went really well with the brick. So, okay, now we're gonna move this aside. We're not gonna glue this down yet. Okay, now we're gonna start stamping. We have our wheel here. I've already cut it out. And um, it, com it comes with the little hole, which is wonderful. And if you can see in here, you can see that right there. Um, you see the indentations. It's like it is embossed just a little bit, okay? And it kind of frames out that area that we can stamp in. Let me get some scrap paper right here. And yesterday, we even, I even talked about um, stamping off with it because, uh, and, you know, you can make sure that you're in the little window with your uh, sentiments, but there's a lot of things that you can just go right ahead and stamp off with. And then watch when you, hi, Robbie, nice to see you. When you um, do this, remember, you roll the wheel down, okay? So watch your sentiment. Like if you want it, you want a little sentence, okay, to a dear friend. You touched my heart, okay, and then I just have a succulent, okay? So, of course, so I want to use my to a dear friend first. Okay, so I'm using this stamp from um, the Plentiful Plants. I love this stamp set. So much fun. And I'm going to do this in So Succulent. And where my little kind of triangle is there, and I'm not going to worry about it stamping off, I'm just going to bring this in or, you know, coming off of the wheel, I should say. And I'm going to stamp that just like that. 
close to the hole, but we're good right there, okay? Now I'm gonna do all three of them like this for this card. So I'm just looking for my embossed piece and I'm just gonna stamp. And here, and I'm gonna bring that in and stamp right there, okay. Now I'm going to start with my sentiment. To a dear friend in evening evergreen. Now this, I really wanna look. Okay, I've got that straight. I wanna bring this right across there. To a dear friend, okay. And then I'm gonna, remember, we're turning the wheel down, so we go to the next one. And you touched my heart, and this is an evening evergreen, and I'm just stamping in the middle. Okay, and then we're turning it again. And I cut this little guy out right here. This is from the DSP. And I just wanted some succulent, like right here, okay? But he's kind of tall, and I wanted my leaves to show. So I'm gonna give him a little haircut at the bottom, okay? So I'm just gonna cut a little bit of him off right there. And I'm gonna bring this down, and I'm gonna glue that right there. Now, you could, I could bring this over, okay? And where's my window? Because I don't have my piece cut yet. You could just kind of, let's see how we are here. This is what I did. You can feel that catch. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That would be wonderful, right about there. Okay, we're gonna glue it right about there. So I kind of just eyeball it. And I know I have to come down off that leaf right there, okay? Oh, that's wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, okay? All right, now our little wheel is stamped. Now, this was really easy because I already know that this is going to fit quite nicely in here, okay? Now, a lot of times though, if you're really looking at what to do and where to put things, let me move this aside you might want to cut this out first and then kind of look at it, but I kind of knew where they were going, so that's why I did it that way. Let's go ahead and move um, things out of the way here. And bring the big one in, right? Good. And now we're gonna go ahead and cut this piece. So this is four inches across and it could be about five and a half um, long, okay? Right there. And we're gonna go ahead and place this on here. And now I wanted to use this window. Now, this is flat right here. And this has like a little raised area, okay, on there. And so when you put it in there, it hooks it. It kind of holds it, okay? So when you put this down on your paper, let's move this out, okay? When you put it down on the paper, I love, I know, right, Peggy? That's so pretty, so pretty. She ordered the hanging baskets with the dies. Definitely, you, there's so much to do. See, now I felt that catch, okay? And now this is straight. Now, when you do this, you can make a decision. You might want to cock that to the side. You also then might want to put one on the bottom, you know, because it can just, you could cut it again with one on the bottom. You could do one on the top and one on the bottom windows, okay? So there's so many possibilities with this. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. I don't know who, in, who engineered this thing up at Stampin' Up, but they did a great job. Now we're gonna stamp an, or we're gonna um, uh, glue down an arrow. Hi, Judy, thanks for watching. Uh, we're gonna glue down an arrow, so I'm not gonna worry about, I need this to be cut out. Yesterday we did a little embossing. So here we go, we're just gonna run this through. <clears throat> just like that. That really went through there, didn't it? <laughs> That's all right. Okay, here we go. Let's move this aside and let's get all this out. Let me gingerly, always gingerly take off washi tape because it can stick and raise paper. 
So just take a little bit of, just take a hot second there to do that. And now look at your window. This is so cute. This is so cute. Everything is stitched. Isn't that wonderful? And then just take a little pokey tool and poke that center out. It's loose. It just, um, it just doesn't pop out sometimes. So there's that. Hi, Gloria. So right there is that. And that's as easy peasy as it is to cut that out. But now we're going to talk about how to stabilize this. Okay. And get it to turn so that it's raised up because, let's see, where did that card go? Um, yes. This one. Okay. This is, an, this is one that I'll, I'll make today. I'll do a video today. But this is flat right here. Okay, this is flat up against the back of the paper. And that's not good. Okay, that's not good. We want to fix that. So that uh, other demonstrator, Gloria uh, Creamer, she figured it out. I have to give her total credit for every bit of this. Okay, now let's go ahead and look at our little wheel here. Isn't this cute? We're going to put this together now to a dear friend. Okay, right there. Oh, that came out so cute. Isn't that pretty? Just a little something. Now, if you wanted to, you could always line this up like this, okay, and then stamp because this is flat enough. Okay, if you wanted that to come down a little bit or move it around a little bit, um, you can always stamp with the template right over top of it. No problem on that. It's very thin. Let's go ahead and pick out a brad. So I'm going to put my little flower pot over it. So I just get a little round little black one right there. Okay. And now what I did was I, ha I still have my one inch circle punch. I can't get rid of this. I use it a lot. Um, and so I punched this out a little circle. It doesn't have to be one inches. This little circle, this little part of the card could be two inches. Um, it could be square. It doesn't matter. Okay, but you need this to put dimensionals on to allow the thing to lift up this part of it so that then you can spin the wheel better. Okay, so watch what I do. We've got this. We have, what? wait a minute, we have our little circle here. I'm going to take my pokey tool here and just put a hole in the center, best I can figure the center. Put the brad through. and then put this on the back. This is very, very important that this is back here, okay? Open the brad. All right, now watch, see, it's gonna spin. Look at that, Oh, that came out so cute, right? That's wonderful, I'm so excited with that. Okay, and then the little flower pot is gonna hide that brad, and it's gonna come right here, and it's gonna look like all of those succulents are growing right out of that flower pot, okay? But first, what we want to do before we do that, we want to mount this. It's time to put it on the front of the card. So watch where I put my dimensionals. I have the large, the regular size dimensionals and the minis. Now on this top and bottom of this, um, uh, wherever that the brad is. Oh, thanks, Peggy. Or wherever that it, you know, that when you put the brad in and it opens up. Just, I'm going to use minis. You don't have to use minis. You can use pieces of this on the side. If you don't have the minis, just don't think that because you don't have minis that you can't do this, okay? Just cut a piece of the other di size dimensionals, okay? And now, okay, and make sure that it does not touch this part of the brad, okay, at all. Don't let it impinge on that. Now we're just going to put regular dimensionals around the card to secure it nicely on our DSP. Put one there and there and here. Okay, we're good. Okay. So many wonderful ideas with this set. And I uh, have only touched the iceberg, I'm telling you, this week. Because <laughs> you, you have a whole arsenal of product that you can use this die set with. And um, it's not in a bundle. So that's wonderful.
Okay, now this you're going to place on top of this piece right here. And remember, this piece, whether it be DSP, regular cardstock, um, whatever, this piece that I put this on is five and three eighths by four and one eighth, okay? I do too, Lynn. I love interactive cards. Just a lot of fun. I like I like building them. That That's just fun. So right here, this goes just like that. Now, see how this is not flat because of the two little dimensionals right there. Now you've got um, height there, but it's not impinging on the wheel. See, it's still allowing all of that to turn. Isn't that, it? look how pretty that looks. Isn't that ingenious from her? Just ingenious. Okay, let's go ahead and place our flower pot here. And this is gonna go right here. And I'm just gonna put two um, pieces of dimensional. See, this is what I mean by these pieces of the dimensionals. Let's go ahead and cut these top and bottom. I want these little triangles right here. See, so these can even go on to that little piece. I'll put my flat edge toward the top on that flower pot and then my flat edge toward the bottom here. Now what this is gonna do is raise this up, give the card dimension, but it's also gonna hide the brad and it lets the brad sit in here so that it doesn't make an indentation. So here we go. Isn't that cute? Oh, just adorable, right? Just fun. Okay, now we get to go ahead and decorate the outside of the card just like we were doing the outside of a card. I'm going to take my little arrow here. I didn't want to bore you guys with cutting everything out. So I did, I wanted to cut this part out. That's the most important part. Now this right here, you can use a silicone mat. Does anyone know if Stampin' Up! has a little, has the little brads? No, they do not. They went to these. And there, it's a mixture of. I remember those little brads, Carol. I love them. In fact, I used every one of mine up. I was making pinwheels and I made um, uh, Christmas ornaments with them and, um, and bows. But you know what? I really like these because they're very long. I, I need to do, if it weren't for all the informative videos I've watched, I probably wouldn't be making cars. <laughs> thank you. Oh, you're so wonderful. Oh, thank you, Peggy. Thank you. Um, yes, I use, I'm putting my arrow here so that it shows somebody how to turn it. It points down, okay? And I want it right here on my DSP. I just added a little Tombow to that. Isn't that cute? Adorable. Okay, now, this. Uh, let's talk about this little basket here. This basket has a slit right here, which is so much fun. So remember, don't glue it down, okay? I, I just put the, the glue around the edges here because I wanna slip my succulent looking thing in there. Okay, so this guy I'm gonna put right here at the bottom. And we're going to, I'm gonna take this one. Now this was cut from the DSP. This has a die and is cut directly from the DSP. I didn't stamp it, this is too, these, the greenery, but I did stamp this, um, a flower pot and that flower pot. Okay, so now here is the little, isn't that cute? It just sits in there. That is adorable. Now watch your little leaf here that it doesn't go off of your, um, your card. It can go out to the green, but I've got it out to the DSP and I'm fine with that. So now this I'm gonna flip over and I'm just gonna add some dimensionals to it. I could actually use some of these, right? We'll just use some edges because they're right here. So just watch your placement. You know, when you use things that are going outward like that, that's all. There's that. And I'll just stick one more here. And that's more than plenty. Okay, now I'm going to take this little flat part right here and stick it in that, um, in that slit. I guess you could have glued down the top part of it, but not the bottom part of it. But it's fine. You don't have, you know, this is holding everything down. Isn't that pretty? Oh, wonderful. Okay, now we're going to put this little um, guy together. 
And I'm gonna make one piece out of this first. Just gonna put a glue dot on the bottom here and I'm going to attach it to my flower pot right here. And then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna put dimensionals on the back of this. So, I could use the size right here. And just a couple of these guys. Well, I will put one over there. Let's put a little one. We don't need a big one. There we go. And now this has popped up with some nice dimension on the card. I like that we've already completed the envelope and the inside because the outside of this does take, you know, by the time you decorate it and, um, you know, mess with it a little bit, it takes a little bit of a process. Okay, now I'm making sure I don't go off of here. And right there. Let's lift that up just a hair. There we go, right there. Oh, thank you for sharing, Jewel. I appreciate it. Okay, now you can either pop this up with dimensionals on here or put it down flat with um, uh, some Tombow, and that's what I'm going to do. See, here's one that you can cut out, too. Okay, I'm going to put more glue because we've got a lot going on on the front of that card, right? And now that when this goes down, there's that ever, ever, ever small little um, border, a, like an eight, a sixteenth of an inch, definitely, um, around there just to frame that DSP out a little bit. Look at how pretty our card is today. Oh, just wonderful. What a fun set. And honest, guys, I have only touch the iceberg with what I'm doing this week because there's it's phenomenal. I ordered extra I you you have to order hi hope um you have to order extra DSP of this paper. The DSP sale. Uh don't forget that. And and if you order from me, um let's see what's today the 14th up until uh 12 midnight tonight you get some silver clear epoxy essential drops if you place a $50 order with me. And of course the free card kits. Here they are for this month. They're very summery. I made summery card kits for this month. So that's wonderful. And then next week, if you place an order with me, I will send you a pack of the Genial Gems, a $50 order. You're also entered into my summertime giveaway. And that's everything on page 12. Do I have that out here? Let's see. I don't have the diorama dies out there somewhere. Um, the Seascape bundle here. You, you will get uh, an entry every $50 that you order from me. The Seascape bundle plus the diorama dies. I, I don't know where I put them. They're around here somewhere. Um, and uh, that is my summertime giveaway. And I will be giving that away live August 1st, that um, Sunday night. I'll be picking that live on Sunday night, August 1st. And um, that's, for, I, that's the first time I've ever done something like that. Uh, it's for people who've ordered $50 in increments of $50 from June and July. For both of those months, I put their names each time. So like I have people that with one order, they're getting like three, four entries. Um, I will need to, oh, okay, Donnie. Yeah, watch the replay. I'm sorry, your phone's freezing up. Yeah, so that's a lot of fun right there. So if you order from me, if you're thinking about buying some of the paper, um, yeah, if you get up to $50, then you get entered into that. And you get a bunch of free goodies. So I appreciate that. And, um, oh, thank you, Carol. I'm so glad that you like this. Isn't that pretty? It doesn't always have to be a birthday card with this set, okay? It, there are so, so... Need to get ready for the take care, Peggy. Have a wonderful day. Look at how fun that is. When that comes right there, it, right into the flower pot. I just think it's just fantastic thank you donna just so much fun the outside of this card is so much fun just wonderful okay so i will be back on sunday at 7 p.m and uh we will be making one of these with the peaches uh the peaches have stolen my heart okay the paper the stamp set the whole thing about it i absolutely love those peaches 
And um, yeah, I even made more thank you cards with the peaches this month. I had to, because I know that once I get into um, the new catalog, that I'm not going to be using the peaches come October, you know, so it's not going to happen. So um, yeah, I just really wanted to use it because I absolutely loved it so much. I was up till about I don't know, 12, 30, 1 o'clock in the morning making these thank you cards because I just love playing with the peach set. So, so um, yeah, so that's what's been going on here. Okay, I'll see you Sunday evening at 7 p.m. Of course, my um, team will get their video sometime today or tomorrow. And, of course, it um, focuses on this die set also. I sure do appreciate everybody watching. Please have a wonderful, safe day. And always go to your little happy space and do some happy crafting. Thanks again.